Hello guys! Today I'm just going to show you a little electrical rebuild I did on my Okuma LS lathe. The smallest one of its brothers. It's like, yeah, one meter between. Uh, and what I did was that from the beginning, uh, this lathe has a special uh, motor or an engine, electrical motor, with Y and D. Uh, it's called YD Start in Swedish. I don't know what's in English, but I think you know what I mean. So when you start something heavy, you need to start in Y because uh, you can't start in D. And that was my problem. So uh, originally this lever that starts the chuck, when you pulling this down inside here, you have this going up and down so this is neutral and this is position down so forward for the chuck and then this is up and it's reverse for chuck but originally there is one two three four micro switch and uh, these weren't working as it should it was like sloppy here so when I put in, and so the thing is, you have two stages here. Now they are gone, but you could feel them before. So when you wanted to start, you put just stage one and you wait like some seconds and uh, the chuck is uh, turning full speed. And then you change to D. So first is D, uh, no, I mean neutral, Y, wait a little, D. So, and it's same for reverse Y, uh, wait a little, and then D. But this wasn't working, so <laughs> when I start each time, it's putting in D directly, and I try to, yeah, you know, change here and stuff, you know, uh, and uh, it didn't work, the switches uh, just didn't match. It didn't work like it was, it was like, yeah, bad condition. I, I think worn out, so. So I just thought, okay, I want to make it an easy way because it's also a pain in the ass to be here and like, oh, I have to put in a first position, then second position. I want to put a first position directly and do nothing more. So what I did was I rebuild down here. I delete uh, these two switches and only put these two. And then I trimmed them so it would work only when I put the lever all the way down or all the way up. Nothing between, okay? And what I did, I went back here in the back, in the hard, you can say, or maybe the, I don't know, the brain maybe of this machine. So this is all, nearly all original. You have the main power switch here. I put some fuses inside, uh, smaller than the house biggest fuse. Uh, main switch go down here to a volt changer. So it goes from 380 to 100 volt because all the contactors are 100 volts. I mean the the spool. I think it's called the spool that's dragging the dragging the contactor is 100 volts. So uh, what I did, because when you have the old, there is four of them, and the old uh, was working like this. You put in position one. This drags. I don't remember if this is what we say. This this drag here, and when you did that, and you go to position two. You switch and this drags and it sends electricity to uh, to the D instead of the Y. So Y and then D. And then there is reverse, reverse Y, reverse D. Uh, but what I did instead was I put this, this little contactor. It's a time. I bought it on a timer. It's uh, on eBay. I bought it on eBay. Nothing special like 20 bucks or something. And I just put, I think I put to, yeah, I put to three seconds, I think. I'm not sure, but it was like three seconds or four, maybe. 
four seconds. So when I switch the power on, when I put in max position on the lever, so remember I deleted two of the switch, uh, it starts in this one, and after four seconds, it passed through this, go to this, and after four seconds, this one change current, so it goes to drag this instead. And that's the same when I go reverse. So I want to show you how it works. It works really great. It worked for like four years now. Oh, by the way, I have the original electrical circuit diagram. If someone needs, I can take some pictures and send. Uh, so I will now show you uh, how it works. I'm just going to put it in the so like this. I will show you how it works. So I switch the lathe on. And now remember position one. And listen, did you hear that? I go reverse. And it switched again. And in fact, what I did, I just took the highest RPMs and it's like 1800. And I started the lathe and I counted, okay, how long does it take until the lathe is turning full speed, 1800, because it takes some time. It's really heavy. So it takes really long time to start. And then I counted, it was like four seconds or it was maybe five, six seconds, but I put four seconds uh, and it worked perfect. And uh, that's really, really nice. So uh, if someone has a problem like me or maybe on another machine or a lathe, I would suggest if you don't want to put a VFD or uh, something else, you can just put a little box like this and it works like charm. Okay. Uh, for today, there's no more to say. I will uh, show you more of this late uh, later. Bye.